Hi there, it's Shorty. I have the complete book of the Zodiac. And today we're reading about moon in Sagittarius. So please do make sure that you calculate your moon based on the time that you were born, your birth date, and the location of your birth. So here we go, moon in Sagittarius. The astrological textbooks that tell people with moon in Sagittarius are jolly and approachable, open-minded, adventurous, extravagant, and generous. In all this, they are right, but they are only telling half the story. While you may be the life and soul of every party, and you are the office or family clown or comedian, looking closer, we have to consider the words of a very wise philosopher, Smokey Robinson. It's easy to trace the tracks of your tears. Your jubilance is an act. Your magnimacy a defense mechanism. You figure that if you're always merry, nobody will realize how vulnerable you truly feel or how afraid you are of being rejected. Deep within, you're not so much of a hotbed of emotion as a variable inferno of unfulfilled and arguably unfulfillable passion. Every so often, you find yourself unable to keep up with the par parade of quips a moment longer. The inner volcano simply has to erupt. It doesn't happen often, but when your heart wells up with longing, the amplifying influence of Sagittarius on your moon causes you to go to extreme lengths to to pursue what you yearn for. You take risks that nobody else would even dare to dream of. You make outrageous statements, you chase impossible rainbows, and you take it all exceedingly seriously. Luckily, it's never long before your sense of humor returns and your dangerous, side, dangerous desires subside. Sagittarius is exuberant, energetic, humorous, and hearty sign. It is also a kind, compassionate one. The moon, however, can sometimes feel a little lost here, in the same way that someone from a small village can feel lost in a big city. The moon is part of the personality that always wants to know where it stands. Sagittarius is part of the zodiac that is perpetually changing. The ethos of the sign is onwards and upwards, which doesn't always gel with the moon's inclination to be steady and safe. The result of that is a person with a moon in Sagittarius can feel restless and insecure, constantly on the lookout for something solid to cling to, yet never quite able to settle for what they've got. Behind your buoyant, good-natured, confident persona, there's a competitive edge. Not only are you forever measuring yourself against others, you are frequently trying to improve your own past record. You frequently pursue unrealistic goals or extravagant ideas which you pick to test your own nerve and courage. Your loved ones can find it hard to live with such a driven individual. They might be able to understand it if you, your aim never wavered from one target, but your tendency is to shift and change priorities, which confuses those in your family who are by nature more consistent. Your partner finds you fun to be with, but can't work out why one moment you're sweet, light, bubbly with desire to respond to a spur of the moment, yet the next you're sharp, serious, flatly insistent, and particularly on point. Frankly, nor can you. It is the fact that you never really know what you want from your lover that makes it so hard for your lover to provide what you need. All of which is why you get along best with others when there's a challenge to rise to that's big enough to cause all concern to forget about their feelings and work together to succeed against the odds. You might find it hard to imagine how a sign as traditionally light, bright, joyous, and jolly as Sagittarius can possibly have a dark side. It's like contemplating curry-flavored cornflakes or a mugging on Sesame Street. There's definitely, however, a danger-loving streak in your moon sign, albeit an, not an obvious one. It springs ironically from the fact that you are so anxious to do what's right. Sometimes you can become the champion of justice as to turn the, to the angel of revenge. 
You can forgive almost anyone anything, and it takes a lot to turn your benevolence into malevolence. But if you really feel someone has done something beyond all excuse, you can almost you can be almost as inexcusable in the methods you employ to let them know how you feel. I'm not talking about something that happens often, but it doesn't need to happen often in order to have a profound impact on your outlook. And while you rarely get such a large bee in your bonnet, you are forever a series of smaller bees in your cap. You frequently want to come to the rescue of those you are feeling you feel are getting a raw deal. In the process, you bite off more than you can chew or worse, find the object of your act of heroism turns around and bites the hand that has come to feed it. A lot of this stems from the desire to emulate a person who has a kind and supportive influence on you in childhood. You may, however, do their memory more credit by learning to hold back your desire to see justice done and have more faith in the ability to let natural justice prevail. Focus on putting your inner world to rights before you set off with the intention of sorting out the wild one. All right, so if you have a moon in Sagittarius and a sun in Aries, you're a reckless adventurer and a wild free spirit. You do everything at the last minute, and you will do almost anything for a laugh. Sun in Taurus. Though you like to play it cool, deep down you're tremendously excitable, enthusiastic, and very often lucky. Sun in Gemini. Your trouble is that you, ha when you have an idea, no matter how far-fetched, you simply have to act on it. Happily, things usually work out well. Sun in Cancer. You're willing, you'll willingly go out of your way to do someone a favor. You're adaptable, easygoing, and very warm-hearted. Sun in Leo. Others sometimes feel you lack common sense, but you're usually so full of fun and appreciation for life. Why should you care? Sun in Virgo. Little baffles you or perplexes you for long. You've got an inquiring mind an adaptable heart, and a healthy sense of the ridiculous. Sun in Libra. You're bright and lively, character full of great ideas, but you sometimes let the voice of enthusiasm drown out that of common sense. Sun in Scorpio. You've got a rather good relationship with money. You don't worry about it, and it runs after you to see why you're not bothered. Sun in Sagittarius. You're the original bouncy toy. No matter what knocks you over, you may wobble, but you simply won't stay down. Sun in Capricorn. You like the idea of being part of a large, worthy organization or institution to which you can safely dedicate your heart. Sun in Capricorn. You like the idea... Oh, just read that one. Sun in Aquarius. Sorry about that. You're exceedingly affable and good-natured. Your sun and moon signs are so sociable, it's a wonder you ever get any work done. Sun in Pisces. Your exuberance and enthusiasm makes you popular, but it's your ability to seize an opportunity that makes you so successful. Okay, so all of you moon in Sagittarius's, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope that you have found it helpful, and I love you.